Are you struggling with high notes? Does it feel tight or squeezed when you sing in your upper register and you're not able to get the power or clarity that you really want? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how the singing straw can help you get more powerful, more clear, and more easy notes in your upper register, all in just a few minutes every day. Hey friends, I'm Whitney Nicole, singer, songwriter, vocal coach, and creator of The Singing Straw, which helps singers and speakers like you develop a stronger, clearer, and more balanced voice. Singing in what some people call the head voice can be tricky. Especially in contemporary and commercial styles, oftentimes our upper register isn't as developed. So when we go to hit those high notes, they can feel strained or tight, or worse, breathy and light, neither of which you want. So I work with singers to help them feel flexibility and freedom in those high notes with the help of the singing straw. And once you have that access, then you can play around with intentionally adding back some of those fun stylistic additions. First though comes the access and that's where the singing straw comes in. So grab yours and let's get going. All right guys, so you guessed it. We're gonna start with a slide. Go from the lowest part of your voice to the highest. Awesome, and really stretch it all the way up. But you wanna make sure you're doing this lightly and easily, right? Don't carry a lot of intensity or weight or heaviness. And if you're new with the singing straw, make sure that you're using your resistance well, meaning you're not fighting against it. And if you feel any of that ugh, fighting back kicking in, add a second straw or a third straw until you get comfortable resistance, because here you want this to be gentle and easy. And don't be afraid that there's some cracks, that's okay. You're really looking, up, just stretching into as high as you can reach. So one more time. Awesome. Second, we're going to do a siren. So with me, this is like middle high and we're just jumping, sirening up from there. Right? And I want you to play around with how high you can go. Day to day, it might be different. One day it's a little lower, the next day it might be a little higher. That's okay. You're just kind of going into wherever is easy, stretching into those high notes. Very good. Okay, so now we're gonna do this top down arpeggio. So lower voices, you guys can go ahead and drop the octave, okay? higher voices. Stick with me. Let's do it. And lean on the higher, lighter side of your voice. Don't be heavy with this. We're working on our head voice here. Keep it going. Awesome, you guys. Stretch all the way up. Let it be light and easy. And the straw is gonna help to keep your vocal folds coming together. So it can be light, just connecting the sound, right? And bring it back down. So when you're singing those high notes, your vocal folds have to move faster, right? So the higher you go, the faster they have to move. And they also have to stretch more, right? So your larynx is tilting, your vocal folds are stretching. So what we're doing at this workout is we're using the straw to help keep our vocal folds moving in a healthy way. And then we're focusing our exercises on that higher range so that we really get the muscle memory and the feel of those high notes with ease on the top. So now we're gonna stay up pretty high. Starting up here, and this is a, and you can definitely slide around like I just did. That's cool, the like sort of slide on the way up. I want you to do that. You're looking for flow and ease, okay? And so again, lower voices, you're down here. 
Okay, let's do this. Great job, guys. Keep it up. Any vibrato kicks in, that's awesome. Let it happen. Don't force it if it's not coming, that's okay. Just looking for that ease, right? Awesome, guys, a couple more. And last one. Very good. Do you notice a difference when you start talking afterwards? A lot of times for me, anytime I'm using the straw, I feel lighter and more buoyant. And that's kind of what kicks in here is we're stretching the vocal folds. We're kicking in the cricothyroid muscles. We're doing a lot of tilt. So what's happening is we're waking up that upper register and that's awesome. So the last scale we're going to be doing, you guys, is a 5-8 arpeggio on the way down. So but I want you to really take your time on the slide from the five to the octave. So this first piece, and just noticing how it feels to get resonance up there. The straw is helping you get the clarity without even realizing it, helping those vocal folds work together like they should. And what I want you to just be doing is pay attention to how it feels. Okay, here we go. Again, lower voices down the octave, okay? How's that feel? You kind of noticing it? The sort of resonance and how it feels up there? You can pay attention to where it is in your body. Some singers like to attach these feelings to places. That's cool. Whether that's your cheek or your forehead. Great job, guys. Couple more and then we'll turn around. Awesome. And again, if that vibrato kicks in, super cool, bonus points. Good, and bring it back down. And really just feel what that feels like for training. Very good. You got it, just stretching into those. Couple more. And last one. Nice job. Remember, the first step is access. And the singing straw is uniquely helpful here because it promotes healthy vocal fold coordination while also encouraging tilt and stretch. So you're less likely to strain, which is what we need for these high notes. So if you're digging these videos, can you do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe plus the bell down below? It really helps us to make more videos and then it also lets you know when our next video drops. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for singing with me.